So, I don't know, maybe uh, five or six months ago, I bought this LED ring that goes on the spindle of my Tormach mill. Problem is, not long after I bought it, first of all, it wasn't very bright, and not long, not long after I brought it, um, installed it, the, uh, the lens cap fell off. Uh, then a little while later, uh, the plastic cracked. I think I paid 50 or 100 bucks for this thing. And I really just thought it was kind of shoddy. It didn't look very good on my mill. I mean, look at this. Right? I mean, it's, it's kind of sketchy, right? Plastic. So, what I did was I had a piece of billet aluminum kicking around the shop. And uh, at the time, I actually started this project before I bought my Enco lathe. And uh, I've got some video I'll show you guys where I actually had an R8 chuck where I had chucked this up in my mill and initially turned this in my mill and I milled this out, which was very time consuming. Um, and milled a slot here for the power cord, tapped these guys for some quarter 20 uh, set screws. And then I milled a slot in the bottom of this uh, for a halo LED light. Uh, and picked up, uh, I've, I've got some one-inch plexiglass that I keep in the shop. I cut a piece of square plexiglass and put it in a, more recently after I got my Enco, I finished a project. Uh, chucked this up in my four-jaw chuck and turned this in half. So this is one inch, I turned it down to half. And then uh, cut the center out of it so that it fit nicely. And uh, I epoxied, uh, actually I silico used clear silicone, actually, now that I think about it to glue the plexiglass here, and then when it lights up, well, I tell you, it's really bright. Let me turn the switch on here. You can see how nice and bright that is. Uh, it's difficult to tell from the phone, but uh, it really does a nice job of illuminating the work. And when it's installed, it looks really nice. It's very, very clean. It almost looks like the stock spindle. Um, I just tighten it up, but uh, very clean. Produces a lot of light. Um, this makes it much easier to see what your tool is doing as you're checking in on your work. Anyway, uh, that's kind of the benefit of doing it yourself. It's uh, quality. Anyway, thanks. <laughs>
Okay, so I've got my uh, mill uh, spindle cover that I milled out of a piece of billet. Um, all ready to accept the first piece of electronics I'm going to put in it. That's the LED ring. Um, did a test and milling wax and got it just perfect. Got it centered, got the speed and some feeds adjusted, and uh, now is the moment of truth. So uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick off the job. So far so good, looks like it's on target. <laughs> 